But it does say that they were slaves. All right? So a slave owning a slave. I, I just don't see that. I think it was a mixed multitude. They cannot participate. Then he talks about, in Exodus chapter 13, about the firstborn. You're going to sacrifice unto me the firstborn. Both of man and women. Then there's the Feast of the Unleavened Bread. What's the Feast of the Unleavened Bread? That means you're going to eat unleavened bread for a while, and the end of the feast, guess what? We all party like it's 1999. We got that except for the old people. Amen. I can see that. Amen. None of the young people got that. The old people got it. Amen. But the old... Young people, they didn't understand a word I said. A amen. They partied. They ate. They had a big feast after. God says, I'm going to bring you into the land of all the ites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Maramites, the Hivites, the Jebusites. He said, what is he going to do? He's going to take away their land. It's sort of like when the United States took over California and Texas. Who did we take it from? Mexico. Who did the United States take away the land of uh, America? Indians. Guess what God said? You, you didn't think about it first, baby. I'm the one that thought about it first. Y'all going to go in there. You're going to take over their land, the land of milk and honey. You don't have to build, you don't have to build your own houses. Because all these people are going to leave their houses. You don't have to plant no, no fruit trees because these people are going to have plenty of fruit trees for you. You don't have to do nothing. Amen? Except enjoy the good life. Amen. He says, seven days shall thou eat unleavened bread, and the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. You're going to thank God. Every year you're going to do this. Every year you got a Passover. We're going to eat nothing but stale. I mean, it's not even a tortilla. Amen? I mean, this is bread that has no taste. Amen? I mean, what are we, what are we having today? Unleavened bread. What are we having tomorrow? Unleavened bread. What are we having the next day? Unleavened bread. How many days are we going to do that? Till the seventh day, and then we're going to eat. Amen? We're going to eat. It's going to be a feast. It's going to be a feast. Why? It is a tradition. I have a tradition. On Thanksgiving, my church, when I first started, they had services for a mission conference on third on Thanksgiving Sunday because the missionaries didn't have any place to go and we were going to feed them, da da da. Everybody's going to take somebody home, feed them in their house, right? Not me. I go to the parade. Amen. I go to a heathen parade. Amen. Downtown Houston. And I've been going there and taking my children. Amen. And anybody else who wants to go with me to go see a heathen parade. Amen. Downtown. I want to see Pancho Claus. Amen. I, I want to see Pancho Claus. And people would say, well, you just being back to it. I said, well, I'm here on Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, visitation uh, for school. I go out, amen, and, and, and preach in the nursing homes, and you're going to call me back because I missed one service? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The brethren <clears throat> love to talk about you. Amen? Amen. 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 Oh, they do. It's a memorial. Why are we doing this? It's a memorial. We do this every year so that you'll remember you were a slave. God brought you out of Egypt. That's why we are doing it. Now, you will open the matrix of every beast and uh, the male shall be the Lord's. Also, the first and the last I shall redeem of the lamb. Now, if you don't redeem it, that means kill the lamb. Amen? Amen. Then you have to break the neck of that ass, that donkey. You've got to break its neck. That's what it says right there, Exodus 13, 13. you got to break it. 
and you're going to tell them, God did it. He brought us out. That's why we do these things. These are our traditions. This is why we do these things. Amen? Amen. And uh, he said, Pharaoh wouldn't let us go, so guess what? We take and open the matrix of every male, but of the first fruits of my children, I redeem. God said, don't worry about it. Amen. They're mine. You want to redeem that, that donkey? Amen. And you don't want to kill that lamb? That's fine. Kill the, kill the donkey. Amen. Somebody, something's going to die. Amen. It shall be a token unto thee for a front that between thine eyes for the strength of the hand of the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. You know what he said? He said, you're going to wear a hair, uh, like a band on your front leg. It's going to have scripture on it to remind you. Amen? God brought us out. Amen. Why is it there? So it reminds everybody. Amen? It reminds everybody. God did this miracle. God. You know, we, we, were, we forget things. You know, my secretary told me, she said, you done told me three times. I said, I will probably tell you four or five times. I said, because I'm an old man, and I will probably repeat it again. Amen? I'm sorry. Amen? That's just the way I am. Amen? He said, God let the people out. And they took Joseph's bones, verse 19. They started toward the wilderness of the sea. You say, why? Because God did not want the people to go straight into battle. It was quicker to go through the Philistine land, but you know what God did? He chose the Red Sea. Why? He wanted to see what them Jews were going to do. With their back up against the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army coming after you. Amen. Sometimes God will put you in a situation just to see what are you going to do. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. What are you going to do? You going to trust God? Mm -hmm. I mean, He only gave you how many plays? Mm -hmm. He done took care of you. Right. You got gold in your pocket. You got silver in your pocket. Mm -hmm. In your wagons, you got all this beautiful clothes that belong to all these Egyptians. Amen. 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 But God said, I'm not going to put them to war yet because they ain't strong enough yet. They've been slaves. They're not physically ready, mentally ready, emotionally ready, spiritually ready. They're just not ready. Amen. So we're not going to take the shortcut. We're going to go to the Red Sea. So he goes to the Red Sea. And the Lord said, verse 21, they go to the edge of the wilderness. The Lord said, uh, I'm going to be you by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Why? Why is he doing that? Mm -hmm. You know, God said, I'll, not, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, there are some Christians that believe God has forsaken them and left them. Well, let me tell you, dummy, he ain't left you. He Amen. ain't forsaken you. Amen. Now, you Amen. may have forsaken God, but he's still right there with you. Amen. Amen. And he Amen. still wants to be a blessing. He Amen. still wants to help Amen. you. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. You might have gone back into the world. You might have gone back and done something you shouldn't have been doing. But God said, I ain't going to leave. Amen. And so for the Jews, he said, you're going to know. I got cloud in the daytime. I got fire at night. And you will know that I am with you. Amen. And Jews needed to know that. 430 years of slavery, 10 plagues have gone by, and they still need to sign to prove God's with us. Amen. Amen. Now, he's expecting a little bit more from us Christians. Mm. That's why he left us a Bible. Amen. 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 He left us a Bible. Amen. So that you would have the truth. You say, what Bible do you read? I read the original King James 1611. It's a fifth grade level. Amen. Amen. I have people tell me all the time, well, you know, it, it, it's really too hard to read those antique, uh, uh, what was it, a antique words and so forth. I said, get your dictionary. Buy you an old dictionary. Right. You know, Amen. 1900 Amen. dictionary, 1800 Amen. dictionary. Look them up. 
Adored and proved to 